Hi, Chief Duck here. Welcome back to everyone's favorite segment, Low Rated Duelist. So we got Ellie, 7,865 here, and 99, along with Logan Blickfang. Okay, I'm just going to call him Logan. At 122, started things off by playing Nordic Lights, setting this Nordic Beast monster, and then passing it to Ellie, and then Ellie played, or setted some cards two Spellar Traps and a Monster. Back to Logan's turn, he's going to be Flip Summoning the Nordic Beast and then Summoning Tar... Tyr... or Tyr... of the Nordic Champions? I guess that's how you pronounce it. And unfortunately there is the Clutch Mirror Force by Ali, so they'll get rid of both those Nordics and, you know, despite having that 60 card deck and one in the extra deck, you're actually in a winning position here. So he's going to be Normal Summoning... well, she... I guess it's... isn't Ellie a girl's name? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be summoning Neo Space Green Glow Moss. And... this card attacks... No, when this card attacks or is attacked, your opponent draws one card, reveal it, and based on the type, apply the effect. Trap, change this card in defense position, and you draw the... <laughs> this card is terrible, why would you play this? Its stats are terrible! And... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so bad, like, why? You draw the card, it stays in your hand. You don't have to put it back into the deck. Uh, apparently, Logan doesn't know how to read this guy's effect. <laughs> oh my god. And then you're going to be switching it back to attack mode the same turn you summoned it. Okay. So, summon it in attack mode, put it to defense, and then main phase 2, put it back to attack mode. Okay, because that makes perfect sense. Uh, this duel's already gone wrong in a couple ways. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea what the Nordic Lights does, so let's read it. Nordic monsters on the field cannot be destroyed by battle. This card on the field is destroyed. Destroy all Nordic monsters on the field. Ooh. I do not agree with this field spell. It just does not seem worth it. Like, not at all. What if you have a field full of Nordics and you're putting a top decks MST? They're going to get, like, more than a plus one off, the, off their one MST. Anyway, Ali's going to be attacking. Attack! 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 Keep on going! Yeah, he's gonna attack again, my man! <laughs> and apparently you're not gonna use the effect, cause who cares? Logan's just gonna pass his turn. <laughs> and back to Ellie. And without further ado, let the attacks begin. Attack! Attack! Oh no, you're just gonna attack once this time. And why is this guy not getting its effect off? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, what the heck? Why would you play this guy? Like, come on. Do I dare read what you're gonna say to me, man? Do I dare read? Nah, I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> I, I'm not in the mood to read that. <laughs> so, anyway, Logan Black Fang, or I guess that's Blick or Black. I'm just gonna say Black. Summons the Gold Facts of the Nordic Beasts. If this card attacks or is attacked. So why didn't you get his effect like the two other times when you attacked? Like, come on. Read your cards. I, I have no idea what's going on. Like, I have no idea. No, just for the fans, I'm going to go read this guy's PM. Is this low-rated duelist even though it's only on Tuesday or Friday? Yeah. And wow. <laughs> Apparently, Ali just quit. So, this was a very interesting way to start out the duel. We're going to be pausing the video and getting another duel in. So, sorry for this confusion of a freaking duel. I'm like, what the heck? Like, seriously, what the heck? Okay, guys, we're back. We got CO Well in here, 98, along with Gadgetron, 98, here at 218. So, got a 60 card deck, 15 in the extra deck. Along with a 50 card deck. So, it's 60 card deck versus a 50 card deck. Which one's better? No, I, I gotta go with the 60 one, guys. I don't know. Something tells me this guy came to play. Like, two straight losses, you're gonna come to... Wow, what a waste. Why? Why would you throw a lightning vortex at a freaking Lila? Ooh. That is some weird artwork. I've never seen that artwork of Gemini once in my life. <laughs> oh, God, that's interesting. Wait, wait, wait. 
You're telling me you have... <laughs> you're telling me you're gonna lightning vortex and pitch a monster that has more attack than the Lila. Like, what? Yeah, and then there's Gorge. That's what you get. That is probably one of the worst plays I've seen in my life. This will go down in the top 20 worst plays of the year. They go just stupid. Like, come on. Why would you do that? And now you're gonna deal with the Gorge. Congratulations, freaking idiot. Yeah, I told you. I told you. 60 card deck's gonna win it. So, he's gonna be compulsing the Gorge. It's not gonna do anything because you can just resummon it whenever you feel like it or whenever this guy attacks directly. So, yep, thanks. <laughs> Thanks, and now he's gonna kamikaze with the token here to get rid of the Vorse Raider and the Gorse token. And yep, the token is 1900, so it will be a crash. So, uh, 50 card deck, 11 in the extra deck, along with the 60 card deck with 15 in the extra deck. I guess it's Light Swords versus Retro Beatdown, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, Wellen's gonna be summoning the Aaron Light Sworn Monk. And going into the end phase to mill three cards. Mills double Lumina and I believe another Light Sword Monster. So a Gladitron, or Gadgetron, whatever your name is. He's got three cards to work with. He's viewing that extra deck. That Lightning Vortex is one of the most biggest wastes I've seen in my life. Like, what the heck? Like, why? What is the thought process going through your head? Are you afraid of Hanus that much? Like, come on, are you really afraid? Like, the amount of old cards you're playing, you probably don't even know what Honest is. I mean, Honest itself is a pretty old card. came out, what, 2008? But the cards Gladitron is playing are, what, they came out in, what, 2006 and older. Gemini Alpha, what, 2004? Lightning Vortex, 2005, 2006. Compulse, 2004. So, yeah, he's playing some pretty old cards here. More than a decade old. So, still viewing that extra deck, wonder what you're going to go for. I mean, you only got three cards to work with, but if you top deck into a Rescue Rabbit, you can go for a one card Exceed Summon, so probably playing Rescue Rabbit, because, I mean, you definitely got the Vanillas to go with it. Just don't know what's taking so long to, you know, commit to your play. I mean, it's not like you got 15 cards in the extra deck, you only got 11. So I didn't have time to do that extra 15. Like, it was bedtime. <laughs> like, I was working in my extra deck, but then... Mama told me it was bedtime, and I couldn't finish it, so, sorry. <laughs> Stupid bedtime. Ruining duelist life. <laughs> so, he's going to be playing Polymerization here, so he doesn't have the Rescue Rabbit. He's going to be fusing Luster Dragon and Elemental Fuel Prisma to the graveyard. To go for something here, and this is going to waste all of his resources. Willen is humming... Don't know why you're humming. I mean, you could Valor it, but that really wouldn't do that anything. He's going to go for Great Tornado, which is a legal play. Because Luster Dragon is a Wind-type monster. And Prisma is an Elemental Hero monster. So, thank you for not messing up that. He's going to attack over the Aaron, and he'll lose 2,000 here, because Great Tornado halves the current attack of all face-up monsters. And yes, you do lose 2,000, he did do the math correctly, so congratulations. Oh, wasn't aware. Yeah, I think he's just being sarcastic there, because as you can see, there's 2,000. <laughs> so, anyway, I guess, well, that's obviously the only thing this guy has left to do. Gladgetron, Gadgetron, Gladgetron, I don't know how to pronounce your stupid name. What's up with Dia and, and their usernames? Making the most messed up usernames in mankind history. Like, come on! I have a better chance reading, like, Chinese ping pong players' names. And those are pretty hard. Or, at least reading the credits of a Pokemon game. Like, those names get wacko sometimes. Like, I look at some of those names, like, if you, once you beat a Pokemon game, and it goes to the credits, I'm like, what the heck? I didn't even know that was a name. Point is, I'm right and you're wrong. Continue. Okay, that's a pretty fun way of saying it, I guess. So, please end your turn, Gladiatron. That's all you got. If Welling can get past your Great Tornado, it's pretty much going to be over, because it doesn't look like your deck is that good at top decking. So... Yeah, approaching the 10-minute mark, so we'll take a little break here, guys.
Okay, Welland's turn. You got that BLS. You got that Judgment Dragon. I know you got that Gores in hand, so you could just... Okay, he's going to be setting a monster, so most likely a Raiko. You know what I mean? You could have just passed your turn and waited, waited to summon the Gores. Your Zaki cards coming to the party. He's going to be setting the Fury attacks. What if that's a nice hand? I know I see this every single time in Lower to Do List, but come on! What? There is no need to set that card before you attack. Like, if that's a Raiko, you can Raiko and just pop that. Uh, luckily for Gladiatron, it was just a Minerva, and you won't be able to get any effect off this. The card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, and no, it was sent from the field of the graveyard. So, unfortunately, you won't be able to do anything with this. It's going to be playing Solo Recharge, Pitching, Felice, Draw 2, Mill 2. And you won't be able to get the Felice effect, because Solo Recharge is a cost, and... This has to be from the deck to the graveyard, not even hand, so you won't be able to get that. So, Willen, you gotta have a Judgment Dragon. Where is your Judgment Dragon? See, that's what you get for playing a 60 card Light Sword deck. If you're playing a 40 card Light Sword deck, I'm pretty sure you'd have a Judgment Dragon in your hand, but no. That's why you don't play 60 cards, guys. I still think this guy's gonna win, but, like, like why? Why 60 cards? There's no need. So, Weldon's going to be setting another monster and passing it back to Gladitron. And let's see, Gladitron, what do you have? Maybe it's a Raikou this time, or maybe it's a nice hand. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. I'm still waiting for that one time I can see it on camera where we're in low read to do this. They set before they attack, and he attacks right into an ice hand and loses because of it. That's going to be the best day of my life right there. So, well and saying continue, but I'm glad you're trying to just sitting here. Maybe he has to go make himself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is it lunchtime, Glad you Chan? I think it's lunchtime. You gotta get off the computer and stop dueling. Be your monster is powerful. Uh, great, great tornado isn't that powerful. It doesn't even float, and 2800 attack isn't even that super strong. Like, it's, de it's good, but, like, its effect is mediocre, so... Ah, Great turn it isn't that good. So he attacks into Rinran, the Lightsorn Rogue. And its flip effect is that once it's flipped, you can add a Lightsorn monster from your deck into, or from your graveyard to the deck and then draw a card. Oh, I thought he added it to your hand. That wouldn't be that bad, but whatever. I mean, like, at least it's a one for one, but I mean. It's not really worth Like, it's too slow. Its stats are terrible. And it just doesn't seem worth it. Anyway, Wellen's going to be playing Charge of Light Brigade to mill three. He mills the first Judgment Dragon. So he's still got two more left. Most likely going to be adding Lumina here. So he can summon the Lumina, pitch something, especially summon the Felice, and then go for, like, a Black Rose Dragon or a Michael. And then finally get past that Great Tornado. Or he could go for Lila and go after the back row if he's really afraid of it. But, I mean, if you're playing a 40-card deck, you're more likely to draw near MSTs. But since you're playing a 60-card deck, the odds that you draw on the MSTs is very, very low. And, well, and probably doesn't have an MST to get past that background. So, mm, not looking that good, man. Not looking that good. Okay, he is going to go for the Lumina. So, you better hope that that one piece of back row is something to stop the Lumina. Because if it's not, like, that Black Rose Dragon is coming ASAP. So here's Lumina. He has to click that, so I guess he has to read it. What is up with guys on DN clicking the cards? Like, you don't have to click it. You can just hover over it. Like, look it. I'm not clicking the card. I'm hovering over it. And it pops up. It's magic, right? It's just pure magic. You don't have to click on the frickin' card. And it seems like Gladiatron just doesn't care about my advice and just keeps on clicking. So, Wellen's gonna be using Raiden's effect. Mills Double Needle Bug's Nest. And now it is time to finally synchro summon. Like, my god. Finally. Go into a Michael or a Black Rose. Personally, I go for a Black Rose because this effect happens upon summon. And I'll be able to get rid of both the cards. But, I mean, maybe he feels like going for Michael. Good old Michael Jackson. Let's see which one. And don't go for something stupid. I swear to god. Don't go for, like, a Scrap Archfiend or something stupid. Don't do it. Like, I, I know you're ready for your first one in the format. Okay, he's going to go for Michael. And there is a trap hole, but you cannot do that because 
you cannot trap hold special summon monsters, it's only normal summon, so you could have trap hold the Lumina, but you were too big of an idiot to <laughs> read your own trap hole. So I'm sorry, Gladitron. You messed up. Seriously, normal or flip summon, that is a special summon. Like, since one is a synchro summon and normal summon, this is a normal. <laughs> what? Synchro is special, like you. <laughs> oh, you, you didn't just say that. You didn't just go there. He has special needs, like you. Oh my god. But anyway, yeah, that was just stupid. Why didn't you trap hold Illumina? Like, come on. Why? You frickin' idiot. Like, God, making me slap guys in here. So, glad you Tron. Can you please reset the trap hole and then proceed to get your butt whooped? Because, I mean, that Michael seems like it's going to be staying on the field for a long time. Apparently, glad you Tron just doesn't take no for an answer. Can't believe I have to get a link for you. Hey, I can. It's DN, and it's Lorita Duelist. What do you expect? This guy's rating is actually, you know, relatively high for being so bad. 218 rating? And apparently the trap hole just goes to the graveyard, even though you can't even activate it. But it doesn't matter, he's going to Brooklyn Rage Quit. And C.O. Welling gets his first win in the format. Picks up 28 points, and... Whew, finally. <laughs> and it didn't have to go through that train wreck of a duel. But anyway, thanks for watching this edition of to Duelist, as always. Hope you guys got... Yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys in the watcher chat got a <laughs> laugh out of this one. Welcome to the life of low-rated duelists. <laughs> I had no idea what this guy was playing. He started like that was the biggest waste of a lightning vortex in my life. Like what? Like what the heck? That's probably gonna be the title of the video. Like the biggest waste of a lightning vortex. Like why would you do that? That's so bad. So bad. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for Tuesday when we'll have some more. That's all I gotta say about this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.